This is my reaction to Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 4, Revenge of the Man Crab. Now, quick little thing, my reaction to Episode 3 got blocked and, like, copyrighted and shit. However, it did just get uncopyrighted, like, yesterday. Or actually, this morning it did. Or whenever. I don't fucking know. But yeah, it did. So if you did not watch that, you can go do that now. I did tweet about it. I did post it on, like, my community tab or whatever. Like, just so you know. But, like, yeah. So in case you're watching that, you're like, hey, where's episode 3? It's there. Go look. It, sh it should be up. I got an email saying, hey, good news. You, like, you're good. So, like, yeah. Just so you know. So if you missed that, it's there. Go back, watch that, and then watch this. Anyway, last episode, there was a ghost truck, and it turned out to be on um, the douchebag dude. I cannot even remember his name, but he worked for, like, Ladders, I think? And he was, like, trying to flirt with Daphne, but Daphne wasn't having any of that. Um, and yeah, it turned out to be him, which was good, because he was a douche, so. And Mr. E gave them a big-ass hint, which helped them solve the mystery. Which, again, I said this in the last one, I'll say it again. Is Mr. E, when every time there's a new monster or whatever, or ghost or whatever, does Mr. E know who it is and why they're doing it, like, immediately? I'm telling you, Mr. E, I don't know who he is, but he's clearly smart. Because he seems to know the mystery and, like, knows what the mystery is and knows how to solve it and, like, just helps him with it. Anyway, yeah, season one, episode four, let's go. I hate manual labor. <clears throat> I can't wait for a time when robots do everything for us. Yeah, yeah, also robots are going to kill you when that time comes, so... I don't want any of that fatty fat water. I want Trickle's Trickwid. Trickle's Trickwid is water. Uh, um, no. Hold on, I'm sorry. Is she bitching about fat water? Sure. You want me to look good in my bathing suit, don't you? Man, you are in a crabby mood. Please. Oh, speaking of crab. I'll show you... <laughs> Bren, where'd you get that? The giant fake crab pot? Oh, God. Sir? I mean, probably is a fake crap, but still. It's not her. Trickles Trickwind. What Mother Nature drinks when she doesn't want to look fat. Water isn't fat. Like, what a crowd. I don't know why this Trickwood shit is, like, very popular. Trickles, is it supposed to be, like, low fat or something? Trickles Trickwood here. The non-fat liquid diet, no calorie, gluten-free moisture supplement. Okay, I hate to break dudes, but all water is like that. Are these people like that stupid? Real food, right, <laughs> like, even I know that. And when I'm calling people stupid, you know that they're being real stupid. Just don't mention his nose. Hey there, Didn't you say a clam bit off? Or what happened to the old sniffer? Oh. What happened? I'll tell you, boy. That was a clam that took it. Yeah. Fierce and mighty. He called his glasses, though, right? reduced me to their facial underwear, he did. Didn't we agree that you would cut out the junk food? I should oh. totally eat something healthier. But, 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 huh? <laughs> What about you, Wolfie? Fred, you know what happens when I get near seafood. You remember what my sister's wedding? <laughs> I was so swollen, I couldn't even fit in the bridal airlock. Hey, don't worry, Daph. Come on, let's get our seats for the first match. <sighs> Damn, he's whipped. Oh, see, well, you're gonna go. Yeah, yep. They're so beautiful. The girls? No, the nets. Nets? I, I knew he wasn't talking about the girls, I just didn't know what he was talking about. They're nylon, absolutely perfect for traps. <sighs> Jeez, Fred has a like crap fetish. No one here is going to miss us. Oh. <laughs> It, I, I mean, it doesn't look like anything like a man. What, what man features does it have? Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Let that thing get away! Sure we can, Fred. All we have to do is stand right here. Yeah, stand right here. Yes. Oh, yeah. And he's gone. Huh? What? Oh, They're in the locker room. Hi, 
Peter Trickle, president of Trickle's Trickwid. Oh, you can't just ignore a giant you're the guy. your tournament. There's nothing I can do about it. But Sheriff. Hey, 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 hey. And you wonder why these We're kids have to go solve the mystery. The Sheriff doesn't do shit. Our motto is to serve and protect, not to serve and protect from man crabs. And what do you serve and protect well, from? You know what this means, don't you? Mm -hmm. We respect authority. Go back no. home and forget this ever happened. No. It means we investigate. There. I was afraid you say that. But look whose it is. Skipper Shelton. You used to play a little volleyball back in the day, didn't you? Well, I wouldn't exactly say play. Oh! Ah! You'll be perfect, bait. I mean, what oh. man crab wouldn't want to drag you beneath the sand? Wow, who are you trying to impress? Red. What, this old thing? If you liked a boy, <gasps> who told you? Was it one of my sisters? Dawn. <laughs> she thinks she's so perfect. Well, what no one knows is she has a sixth toe on her. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, clearly not what you were talking <laughs> no, about. No, I'm talking about herself. Well, I mean, I'm just wondering. I'm just working on a science paper, that's all. <laughs> you say something? Make sure you get me between the shoulder blades, okay? When I burn there, it makes me look like a hunchback. <gasps> hey! Oh. That's a little much, don't you? <laughs> no! Shaggy. Oh, no. The trap! Where's the trap? Um, activated. Daphne! Fred! Fred! Daphne! Daphne! Oh no. What happened? Something that I don't know what to do. And she was so shiny. Oh. <laughs> He's been digging like that. Oh my god. Daphne. There's nothing but torn carpet all over the back of the mystery machine. Why isn't anyone making a plan? Because you That's do. That's usually you, Fred. Yeah. You're right. What's wrong with me? Huh? Mr. E? Uh, Mr. E. Oh. This article's from years ago. It says four kids disappeared exploring the Crystal Cove Caverns. Let me see that. Is something wrong, Angel? Do you know them? No. Uh, sorry, it's nothing. Oh. Zoinks! Like it looks like the article comes with the sound. I, I don't think that's it's how you use that. It's an A track, Freddy. Old school, baby. You know this volleyball tournament isn't the first time kids have disappeared from Crystal Cove. Worth researching, don't you think? Hmm. Were those kids taken by the man crab too? Skipper threatened the whole town. He swore he'd take drastic action. Daphne was drastically taken? Hey, is this the rest of that article that Mr. E sent us? Cove Caverns run under the beach, where the volleyball tournament is being played. Boop, like I know that look. <laughs> oh, that's just a little crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Look, guys, I think I found something. Oh, those are not stable. At least they don't look good. What kind of crab monster would need stairs to climb up into the volleyball tournament? It One that's wouldn't. very industrious and has a degree in engineering? No. The answer is no crab monster. There we go. I don't care who did it. I just want Daphne back. Fred, is that you? No, I oh, hear her voice everywhere. Daphne! Fred! Oh, Fred! Thank goodness! I'm so glad you're... Hey, this is a nice cage. <laughs> And now that he knows Daphne's okay, he's all about traps again. Oh. Let's get back to the surface before. Well, is everybody? <laughs> like maybe they got eaten by a man? Crew? No, maybe you're on top of one. Yeah. Skipper Shelton's clam cones. Like follow the scent of that oh. syrupy goodness. That's the way out of here, Scooby Doo. Wait, so with the clam thing right above this? We'll go out the way we came in. <laughs> that would be very odd if a boy, a dog, and a giant ass man crab just came out from under the sand. I told you that would just make him angry.
Oh. Oh. You were saved by junk food? Like, mm -hmm. what can I say? Junk food and me have a very special relationship. Maybe I should ask it for advice. <laughs> Speaking of clam cones, I see Skipper Shelton isn't around again. Or are you, Skipper? Ah, back from the laundromat, I am. Yeah, see, I knew, I knew him and him. It's probably the, um, the mayor of the trickle triplet thing, right? Wait, if you're not the man crab, then who? Everyone, meet Bud Shelton. Oh, Ooh, it's a mascot. The Trickles Trickwood mascot. I knew it wasn't a real crab because Daphne never got allergic when she was around it. Plus, when I saw the mold pattern on the oh, chick of the man next to that. Trickle in the newspaper, I remembered the same pattern on the mascot. He took the credit for my creation. It was supposed to be called Bud's Bloosh. I was still working on the name. Putting a label with Skipper's name on it over the real label. So, so if anyone found him. it, they'd blame him. All that work just to get back at Mr. Trickle? Wouldn't it have been easier and more legal to sue him? Are you yeah. kidding? Lawyers take forever. <laughs> I would have succeeded too if it weren't for you meddling brats probing into my crustacean themed revenge scheme. Velma said you were kind of out of sorts when I got kicked. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that well. I think it's sweet. Don't worry, I will never have feelings again. <laughs> <laughs> I will never have feelings again. So, Velma, did I miss anything That's else moved. while I was gone? Actually, yeah. <gasps> what? Like, what is it now? The locket I found. The one with the picture of the boy and girl inside? It's them. Jinkies. I guess we've got a new mystery on our hands. That was my reaction to Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 4 Revenge of the Man Crab. So, there are the man crab who. Well, let's call Spade a Spade here. That shit looked nothing like a man. It was just a fallen crab monster. I don't know why people called it man crab. There was nothing man about it. Anyway, the crab monster, I guess, started kidnapping people to get back at the Trickles Crickwood guy for stealing his invention. Which confused me on multiple levels. Because one, Trickles Crickwood is just water. Except apparently low fat or whatever, which water already is. Two, I'm not sure how kidnapping people would run him out of business. I don't know what that would do. Like, it's not like you were trying to kidnap him. You were kidnapping, like, random-ass people. Like, I don't know. It didn't make sense to me. Uh, whatever. But the thing that really got me was that the picture, the two of them were the two people that Daphne had in her locket. Which means that how many people were in the picture? I can't remember. I think they said four kids went missing, right? So four, I'm assuming. Four kids went missing, and the two of them were in the locket, which means the locket and the people in the pick and the four kids that went missing are connected. I don't know how, but they are. And Angel was listening to that conversation too. She was like, hmm. and then like shut off or whatever. I don't know at the very end, but what makes me think is. Is it possible that she's Mr. E? I don't know, because right now, if I had to guess who Mr. E is, I'm probably not right at all. But I'd have to guess either Angel Dynamite, because she's, seen, cause she's there a lot of the time, and she, like, helps him out, and it's just like Mr. E does, too. So, like, yeah, so either Angel or the mayor, Mayor Jones, because he's he knows something about the locket, which means he knows something about the kids, too, right? If they're connected. So it could be him. I don't know. I'm one of those who I feel like a mystery. Again, it's, it's could be too early to tell. But one of those who are my guesses. Again, do not tell me. Don't tell me anything. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Don't tell me what it is. Don't give me anything. This is blind. I don't know anything. And yeah, I don't want spoils. So don't tell me anything. This is just me spewing out random thoughts. So yeah. That's it.